All right, so we're going to open this uh, Brute 3000 max PSI pressure washer. It's got 2.3 max gallons per minute. Comes with three tips and a soap. The one zero degrees of soap function. Ideal for large projects. Uh, we picked this because it had the Briggs and Stratton. Now we bought this last year and it's been in storage. So we're going to open this up, put it together. We got a few projects here that we need to do, some at mom's, and we got some jobs that need it. So we need to get this thing going. It's got the 208cc CR950 engine, maintenance free, heavy duty axle cam pump with easy start technology. We'll see how true that is. 25 foot uh, high pressure hose, uh, easy to move and store. Looks like it should be pretty easy. It's got the little CR90 pump on the side there and the motor there. It's all. Hose wraps up, you put the gun in the back. Let's open this up, see what it's like. Delicate's 2700 and the maximum's 3000 PSI. Says it includes the pressure washer, engine oil, quick start, up and shut down guide, and an operator's manual, but it doesn't include safety goggles or a battery operated carbon monoxide alarm. Not sure what you need that for, but it doesn't come with it. When you get it open, it looks like this. There's a quick start up and shut down guide. This is part of your inventory. Place outdoors. Working CO2 alarms. Add oil and fuel. Lubricate, lubricate O-rings. Connect hose. Connect garden hose. Purge system. Connect spray tip. Switch on. Choke. Fuel on. Outdoor use only. Run. Switch on. Fuel off. Purge system. Pretty simple. It must set off a lot of carbon monoxide because it says install carbon monoxide alarms inside your home and point the muffler away from your home. You could die from carbon monoxide and you, didn't even, you won't even know it. So that's why it doesn't come with them. Interesting. Does say the items needed is uh it's not included is some grease, garden hose, safety goggles, bottle of concentrate detergent. Where does it say concentrate detergent? For tips, there's a soap tip, a zero, which is 3,000, a 40 degree, and a 15 degree, which is delicate. These are your delicates, these are your strongers. And there is reference on the front. And just the standard. Trigger handle. 
side safety button either side though left or right handed it's nice okay so there's two bars that are in this uh, bubble wrap one is the axle and one is the pressure washer nozzle the 25 foot quarter inch 6.4 3200 psi hose in yellow now we gotta get the big boy out i'm just gonna pull the plastic bag up over the box try to lift this thing out of here all right we got that out and there's this thing i don't know what that is there's a hose holder so, stay dry. Some instructions with hoses and miscellaneous bag. Some wheels. They are plastic. Not rubber. That's just a hard plastic. Briggs and Stratton small engine oil. SAE 30. Four cycle engines. Alright, let's put the wheels on. The handle is attached to this part that we lifted out of the box. And it's got a couple little straps right here. Wire straps you gotta untwist. So this is the front of the power washer. You can see here, that's right there on that, and this handle kind of goes back and then faces forward. So let's put that on. Just takes a couple of these. And there's a little soap dispenser bottle there. Interesting. Okay, so this handle goes this way and you can see that the insets the same on both sides so the bolts are going to go in the same way on both sides look like they stick out a long ways but when you have the handle on they don't and you can just loosen this up and fold the handle down for store for transportation and storage okay so this funky thing right here that holds all your tips it goes on the handle right here you can see the grooves and the holes. Just line that up. And we're just gonna, there's another one down here. Just gonna screw these down. So these don't even take screws. They just take these little pins, push pins, and line them up with the hole. Just push them in. The metal tip just screws into the trigger part of the handle and it'll set right in here kind of locks in there just like this and the hose will be wrapped around on the outside here so they actually have this design so you put the wand here and the trigger here and then they also have the soap dispenser. Which there's two clear lines. This one's for probably a larger capacity. And I'm reading the book right now. But this goes in a concentrate. And feeds here. So let's see why. So the tires are just. You put the axle on. Then it goes tire, washer. And then stick it through both legs. Then you want another washer. And then a tire. And then this D plastic piece and the cotter pin. So we put this tire and washer on the axle first, then fed it through the legs, fed it through the washer, another wheel, and then this goes on. The other side has a swell in the axle, so it doesn't need it. And then this pin goes on. And we'll 
we'll push it all the way through. There, that's on there good. Okay, so this hose here is for just your regular detergents. And this hose here and cap and stuff, you can get a concentrate and it feeds in through here. But your water comes out here. Uh, the hose hooks up here and there's a filter right there. So if you're just going to use like, they have different algae detergents and stuff for your boat or your car or your house or whatever you're using it for, the deck, you can run through here where they have a concentrate bottle direct from concentrate. You just stick it in here, stick it on there. You can walk around with it. And these will only work if you have the soap adapter in there. They won't work on the high speed ones. Uh, there's a whole process to start this up and to purge it to shut it down but one keynote is if you're trying to empty the entire system after you've taken the hoses off purge the system and shut it off pull your rope about eight times it'll get the rest of the water out of the pump i failed to do that one year and left it where it could freeze and the next year when i started it, this pump blew up even though i'd blown it out uh, you got to pull that cord and get that reservoir cleaned out um or this will blow up on you it, something was clogged in there it cracked and this boom, blew up on me so be careful all right we're gonna get this thing started i'll show you how it works so we had to add some oil and it took just about all of us there's some left also it is asking that you Use a fuel treatment or stabilizer so that you don't cause ethanol damage to your Briggs and Stratton uh, small motor. So there it is, it's all set up. Not a big fan of the yellow, but everything's kept nice and neat. I'm not going to lose anything. And very compact and portable. All right, so we've got our gas in, oil's in, all the hoses are lubed up and in, got the hose on, we're going to turn the water on, purge our line, this trigger, and we're going to hook up our, uh, the rest of this, and we're going to test it out and see what it does. Now, if you want to stick around, I'm going to use a, uh, concentrate soap cleaner that's biodegradable it's not briggs and stratton they make their own concentrate but we got this little spray bottle and we took their adapter and put on it and we're going to use a different soap so that'll be in a different vlog uh make sure you hit that subscribe button uh and hit the like button for this video we're going to see how easy this is to start up and we'll give it a test before we get done with this vlog, coming up right now. Okay, so we have to turn this to on. Gas is on. Throttle. circles off. Alright, come back for the next video. You'll see us uh, do some power washing.